what I really miss? A succulent, tasty mouse. Oh. Mm, yeah. It's been too long since I've had me a good mouse. <laughs> you guys eat mice? Sure. Don't you? Uh, no. I've never eaten a mouse. And you call yourself a cat? I've eaten hundreds of mice. I've eaten thousands of mice. <laughs> guys, guys! So how come you're not eating mice? You seen any mice around lately? Huh? They're all over at Garfield's house. <laughs> Garfield, another non-mouse eater. Hey, Lucky, uh -huh. why doesn't Garfield eat mice? Mm. Two reasons. One, they're his friends. And B, mice don't taste like lasagna. Hey, guys, save a hunk for Biff. Huh? Biff? Who's Biff? He's my best pal from mouse school. He was the puniest, skinniest mouse in the class. He's coming to visit today. I haven't seen him in years. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. That's John's whistle. Everybody hide. Oh. <laughs> 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 You know, Garfield, I've been noticing the fine job you've been doing keeping the house free from mice. It's such a comfort for me to know that you'll keep it that way while I'm out of town. I'm glad because I don't want to take away your lasagna privileges. John says that if he ever sees a mouse in this place, it's no lasagna for a year. Well, I think I'm all packed. Oh, uh, maybe I should take along some snacks in my suitcase. <laughs> Anyone know where Squeak is? I'm his friend, Biff. Biff? Squeak's skinny, puny pal from mouse school? That was before I learned the value of working out. Now I'm the strongest mouse in the world. <laughs> John's coming. Everybody hide. Biff, I said hide. I'm not afraid of any humans. No, but I'm afraid of going without lasagna for a year. Odie, Garfield, I'm leaving. See you in a few days. <laughs> and remember, Garfield, this house must stay mouse-free. Oh, somebody. Anybody? Hey, Biff, you're cute. Welcome to the party. Look at you all. You're a disgrace. You're fat and flabby and out of shape. And you're eating junk. This cheese isn't even organic. Where's Squeak? Boy, oh, he's somewhere around. Squeak. Oh, Squeak. Squeak. I'm not leaving until I see my buddy Squeak, and until I whip this sorry bunch of rodents into shape. You're going to work out. Oh, is that understood? Yes. 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 I can't hear you. Yes, yes. 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 All right, fall in line. Now, march. Hop, two, three, four. Hop, two, three, four. Hop, two, three, four. Hop. I hope he gets them in shape before John gets back. Odie. Put that large, cold nose of yours to some use. Find Squeak. Two, three, four, knees up, shoulders back. Up, two, three, four. Squeak's got to be around here someplace. Come on, somebody please let me out. What's he got in here? Razor, socks, toothbrush, polka dot shorts. John Wiz, polka dot shorts? Up, down, up, down, up, down. Keep those arms straight. Here, I'll show you how to do a proper push-up. Like this. Now, do try about a thousand. Uh, Biff, I kind of... A thousand push-ups now! Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. One. Two. Two and a half. Can you say any squeak? Hop, oh. two, three, four, hop. We'll keep looking. He may be the only one who can get his friend out of here. Squeak! Where are you? Squeak! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
<laughs> oh. Oh, hi, Liz. No, I just checked in and came up to my room. No, I'm having dinner later with that publisher. Fortunately, I packed some snacks in my suitcase. In fact, hold on. Let me get one. Hmm, that's funny. I was sure I packed a whole bag of crackers and nuts. <laughs> okay, so I'm out. The question is, where am I? Excuse me. Caramba. Sorry to wake you up, buddy, but could you tell me where I am? This is Mexico, gringo. You interrupted my siesta. Go away, por favor. Mexico? Oh, no! I gotta get home! This is a terrible way to travel. No wonder Nermal doesn't like it. Bodie, it's been a week and no sign of squeak anywhere. Oh man, John comes home today and squeak's the only one who can convince that muscle brain mouse to get out of the house. He's turned this place into a rodent health spa. This morning, I found them using my bed for a trampoline. We've got to get this gem and him out of here before John gets home. Here, guys, pass these flyers out to every mouse for miles around. Get strong at Biff's mouse gym. You have to stop this and get out of here pronto, immediately if not quicker. I'm not stopping now. Have you seen what I'm accomplishing? Mice makes right! Huh? Panic is growing all around the city. Normally meek and harmless mice are asserting themselves. This morning our town's top exterminator was ruthlessly thrown out of the house by what appears to be a mouse with a black belt. Brace yourselves for the worst, folks. It looks like mice are starting to take over the city. <laughs> Biff, please. John's plane gets in any minute now. If he finds mice here when he gets home... I'm not leaving. <gasps> and I'm especially not leaving until I see my pal Squeak. I hope he's all right. Maybe some cat got him. <laughs> wow. It's like a buffet in there. <laughs> Please, I can't make it through a whole year without lasagna. I can't make it through a long reality show without lasagna. This will be the first time I've ever eaten a mouse. What do they taste like? Taste uh, like? Uh, well, uh, well, you know, it's, it's kind of hard. Yeah, it's, but, it's, but you guys have eaten mice, right? What? Uh, like, sure. All the time. All the time. Are you kidding? Oh, I've been for years. Well, then come on. I can't wait to eat a mouse. Why so glum? Working out is good for you. I'm still worried about Squeak. It's not like him to abandon us. What if there's an emergency? What kind of emergency? <laughs> <laughs> like getting caught by a bunch of mangy, hungry cats. Help! Help! Cats! Help! Help! Huh? What are you waiting for? I thought you loved eating mice. Oh, I do, uh, but I'll be polite. I'll let Harry go first. No, 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 I wouldn't think of it. You first, Lucky. Mouse eater! Oh no, maybe one of those cats ate Squeak. I ate a mouse just the other day. Hey! Did you eat my friend, Squeak? Whoa! Oh. Ow! Ow! Did you eat my friend, Squeak? Did you eat my friend, Squeak? Let go of me! I've never had a mouse in my life! Did you eat my friend, Squeak? Honest, ah, I've never eaten a mouse in my life. <laughs> Did you eat my friend Squeak? No, oh, I never ate a mouse either. I never had the guts. <laughs> I wonder what's in here. <laughs> Squeak, just in time. You gotta help me get your friend Biff out of here. Yeah! Oh, 
Catch any of you even tasting a mouse! Biff! Biff! Oh, you're okay, my friend. <laughs> we'll have the big reunion later. Right now, you gotta do something for me. For you, anything. Oh. Uh, I don't get it. Neither of you ever really ate a mouse? Oh, well, uh... Not a real mouse. Garfield, Oni, I'm home. And I'm glad to see the house is as free of mice as it was when I left it. Oh, it is, uh -huh. it is. <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. You are very welcome. You know, Garfield, you could stand to lose a few pounds yourself. You ought to exercise. Okay, I'll work out vigorously until the end of this episode. <laughs> I wanna be home, I wanna be home, I wanna be home, I wanna be home. Ah, free at last! Isn't it great to be far away from civilization? No cars, no phones, it's just us and Mother Nature. Mother Nature has a cruel sense of humor. I'm cold, I'm tired, I'm starving. I haven't eaten for, ooh, well, it seems like more than 10 minutes. Only seven more miles to go, and we'll be at my cousin Bill's cabin. He'll be fine. I'll be extinct. <laughs> Thanks for the pep talk, Odie, but I'm just an ordinary cat whose big exercise is working the remote control on the DVD player. We're almost there, Odie. Bill's cabin is only three miles away, right at the bottom of this slope. Three miles? Oh. 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 Can't we get there any faster? I just changed my mind about wanting to get there faster. I want to go home. This never happened to Santa Claus, and he's fatter than I am. Fantastic. Just like the old days. No electricity, no appliances, nothing. We'll have to rough it. What? You mean no fridge, no microwave, no TV? We're going to have to live like animals. OK, guys, let's go outdoors and have fun. <laughs> Hey, I'm not going anywhere. And close the door for crying out loud. Freezing. I guess Garfield isn't coming with us. Hmm, nice. Time for a well-deserved nap. And so it was that while John and Odie were outdoors having a jolly good time, Garfield remained in the cabin to rest his weary bones. Who bow. said that? I said that. What? I'm your narrator. I've just been included in the story. Why? Don't ask me. Ask the writers. You can go back to sleep. Okay, but keep your voice down. Good night. My deep apologies. Where was I? Oh, yes. While Garfield was resting his weary bones, John and Odie had a jolly good time. To the empty grumpy song You only have to move around Jump and dance if you're feeling down Feeling grumpy, sleepy or sad Sing this song if you feel bad Stand up and sing along To the empty oh. grumpy song Shake your belly, bust a move Get your body into the groove One, two, three, four Go on, hit the dance floor Step up and sing along to the anti-grumpy song. 
Why is it so cold in here? Because huh? you didn't keep the fire going, numbskull. Hey, I don't have to take this abuse from a second-rate narrator. Don't blame me. I didn't write this dialogue. Anyway, this story is about to have its first twist. So brace yourself. Au revoir. A twist? Au revoir? Oh, no. Patty. Patty the Leprechaun. Oh, that's a nice twist. I didn't see it coming. Hi, Garfield. Sorry to be barging in on you. I was on my way to Hawaii, but I guess I took one of those wrong turns in Albuquerque. Hawaii? Oh, man, I wish I was in Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> you want to come to Hawaii with me, laddie? You betcha. Uh, thanks, but no thanks, Patty. If I go, John is going to be worried sick and it'll completely ruin his holiday. I can't do that to him. Okay, as you wish. Bye-bye, laddie. If you change your mind, open this door and call me name three times. Hey, Garfield, how do you like our snowman? I named him Boris. I'm hungry. Oh, don't worry. Odie and I went ice fishing and we won't starve. We actually caught something. You caught canned spinach. <sighs> ah, bon appetit. Hey. Do you have any real food? Let's see if we can get the local weather report. Hi, this is your narrator again. Tonight, Mars, Jupiter, and Venus will align with Earth. This will have a direct effect on this story and make for another quirky plot twist. Another twist? Gee, I hope it's a good one. Yeah. Look! Mars, Venus, and Jupiter! Perfectly aligned! What a glorious sight! I'm still waiting for that plot twist. I hope it involves dinner. No, no, go away, Odie! Bad dog! Bad, bad, badder than bad dog! Oh, leave me alone! I don't want to go outside. That's where most of the cold is. What? What is it? Huh? Boris the snowman is gone? Wow, this must be the second plot twist the narrator was talking about. That's exactly huh? right. Quite unexpected, huh? The writers oh. have really outdone themselves. You're only saying that so they give you more lines. Now leave this story, we'll take it from there. You're quite the diva, aren't you? Fine. Narrator out. Ooh, touchy. <laughs> <sighs> okay, Odie. Let's follow that trail. Can you tell when a snowman huh? is sad? I don't know, Boris. Uh, how? When you see him cry ice cubes. <laughs> <laughs> Am I seeing things, or was that Boris the snowman telling a joke to another snowman named Olaf? <laughs> Are you guys for real? Sure, we're for real. Last night, there was an alignment of three planets, and... Let me guess. And then you were hit by a ray of light, and bingo, you were alive. Precisely. Uh, how did you know? Oh, it's the laziest screenwriting trick in the book. A pumpkin or a toaster gets hit by an energy beam, and poof! Lo and behold, it's alive. It's pathetic. Well, like it or not, I'm thrilled to be alive. And so am I. There is nothing more boring than being an ordinary snowman. You just stand there all day doing nothing with no one to talk to, slowly melting away. Yes, Olaf. Oh. The life of an ordinary snowman is no picnic. And that's why we're telling jokes. Hey, I got one for you. What do snowmen call snowballs? Children. 
Hey, speaking of snowballs, here's one. I hope a rabbit eats your nose. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a day. <laughs> this has been fun. Yeah, but I'm starved. I could use an ice burger. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Sleep warm. Good night. Sleep cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, winter is over, folks, and huh? temperatures are rising quickly. Mm. Time to pack your skis and go home. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Garfield, Odie, we're leaving. Okay. <laughs> but first we need oh. to say goodbye to oh. Boris and Olaf. <laughs> Guys, we're leaving. It's been a pleasure knowing you. You're both so cool. Not anymore. We're melting. By the end of the day, we'll just be two puddles of water. Boy, this is so sad. We can't have a sad ending to this story. Now can we? Okay, chill, guys. I'll be right back. Odie, Garfield, let's go. Don't wait for me. I'll catch up. Patty, Patty, Patty. Oh, hello, laddie. Change your mind, eh? Who would be to take you to Hawaii? Not exactly. Say, your underground tunnels out of Ireland, they cover the entire planet, right? Oh, of course they do. Through them, we leprechauns can go anywhere what? in the world. See, if you could both come back to the same the something, right? Whoa, laddie. You're asking a lot. But, okay, I'll do it. For old time's sake. <laughs> Hop in! <laughs> this old engine runs on leprechaun magic. I'll have you at your destination in a wee instant. Thanks for everything, Garfield. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, don't forget to ride. <laughs> 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 It's a postcard from Boris and Olaf. It says, Dear Odie and Garfield. It's freezing here at the North Pole. We love it. Come up and see uh -huh. us sometime, <laughs> and we'll give you a chilly reception. <laughs> Yours coolly, Boris and Olaf. Oh, don't you love stories that end well? I feel so happy. I may even forgive that narrator. Oh, thank you so very much. Well, I, I did say May. Sorry, Odie. I don't have time to play right now. I'm making dinner tonight for Liz. It's her birthday. I have to make it real special. She's always complaining we never do anything interesting or special on her birthday. I prepared a dish of carrot and celery sticks. Ah, it was right here on the counter, and now it's not here. Aha! What? Celery stick? <laughs> Garfield! You could have a carrot stick mm. if you prefer. I'm trying to make a nice dinner for Liz's birthday. I have such interesting people living near me, Winona. That house over there, well, it belongs to a man named John Arbuckle, or as his neighbors call him, the guy with the cat. What does he do? <laughs> and the sweet potato pie is supposed to be for six people, not one cat! Ooh, well, he 
doesn't welcome that. Oh, hi, Mrs. Cauldron. Have you seen Garfield? Please don't tell him where I am. Please don't tell him where I am. Oh, I am. Uh, no, I haven't. Yay, Mrs. Cauldron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Arbuckle, I want you to meet my niece Winona. She's staying with me for the summer. Nice to meet you, Winona. <laughs> Such a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Arbuckle. Oh, call me John. I'm sorry I can't stay and chat. I'm making dinner. Oh, well, we understand. Goodbye, Mr. Ar... I mean, John. <laughs> I don't blame you, Garfield. I like sweet potato pie myself. <laughs> oh, come on, Winona. Oh, that's Mrs. Cauldron. You remember her from last season? She was that lady I thought might be a witch. Why? I don't know. There's something about her voice. It reminds me of every witch I've ever seen in a cartoon. No. When you make your potions, heat them over a fire. Don't try microwaving them. It doesn't work. Oh, these kids today. Winona, are you paying attention? Huh? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking about Mr. Arbuckle. Oh, you liked him, eh? Oh, I more than liked him, Auntie. He's the man I'm going to marry. Right. Yes, he's going to be my husband. Never more. At least pay attention. You'll never be a full-fledged witch unless you learn your enchantments. I'm going to take a little beauty nap. Now you study your potions while I sleep. I will, Auntie. May I look into the brazier of all-seeing wisdom? Oh, sure. <laughs> it's a lot cheaper than cable TV. Just... Don't touch my book of spells or my broom. I want to see my beloved, John Arbuckle. I made your favorite, Liz, because I know you love it. Oh, John, you're always so wonderful to me. Ah. Oh, nothing's too good for my favorite lady. She can't have him. He's mine. And he's going to be mine. Nevermore. I will go and sweep him off to the Tower of Witchery and marry him this night. Nevermore! You stupid raven! Don't you ever say anything besides nevermore? Nevermore! I'm not supposed to borrow Andy's broom and book of spells, but this is an emergency! <laughs> I have to learn how to do that laugh. Come on, guys. Let's bring in the birthday cake. Uh, Who are you? I'm the future Mrs. John Arbuckle. What? I I don't, I, I don't, I don't. Okay, you think he'll marry you, but he won't. You know why? Because you're a mouse. A mouse? Yeah, hold on. Okay, Moose, Small Hill Mountain. Oh, mouse, mouse. Okay, here it is. Mouse. Oh, my goodness. Happy birthday, Liz. Make a wish. Well, where's Liz? And who are you? Don't you remember me, John? Winona. Oh, Liz isn't here. And anyway, she's a mouse now. So <gasps> I'll make a wish. Well, See? I get my wish. And my wish is that you'll marry me. Go for it. Could be your only chance. Now wait a minute, lady. I'm taking you to the Tower of Witchery for the ceremony. And since you're too big to fit on my broom with me... <laughs> John! <laughs> Now, as for you two. Run, Odie. This can't be happening. A mouse. What are you, a zebra? I'm not a mouse. At least, it wasn't five minutes ago. Well, this is going to take some explaining. Let me go. Don't fight it, John. It was meant to be. And now, it's off to the Tower of Witchery. So we can be well. <laughs> Of course I have a brilliant plan to rescue John. I just don't know what it is yet. Try talking to this lady. Garfield? Can you talk? To other animals, which I'm afraid includes you now, Liz. 
How are we going to defeat an all-powerful witch? She may not be all-powerful. She said she's learning. Um, she borrowed her aunt's broom and book of spells. And I'll bet her aunt doesn't know anything about it. Come on! You have to talk to her, Liz. What am I going to say? Well, just tell her that her niece stole her stuff and ask her if she really wants a cartoonist in the family. I told her not to touch my book of spells and my broom as well. We have to stop her from marrying John. I'll say I don't want a cartoonist in my family. Never more. That bad miss of mine took my broom, so I'll have to use my vacuum cleaner. Who's coming with me? Me. I'm going. I think I'll walk home. I get airsick, especially flying on household appliances. <laughs> We'd better hurry. They marry people fast at the Tower of Witchery. <laughs> Good luck. You'll need it. So that's all you do all day? Sit around and say never more? It's all I could get. I have trouble learning my lines. I would be proud to conduct a wedding ceremony, Winona. But whom do you wish to marry? Yum. Oh, very cute and practical. Your groom is just the right size to fit atop the wedding cake. <laughs> uh, may I say one word? Is it a good word? It's an excellent word, and it's very appropriate. Very well, then. Say your word. Help! Here it is! That's the Tower of Witchery! But I just realized we may have a tiny problem. What is it? This vacuum cleaner has a thousand mile power cord, and the Tower of Witchery is one thousand miles and six inches from my home. Uh oh. <laughs> what are we gonna do? If anyone objects to this man and this witch being joined in a magical matrimony, let this person speak now. Would it do any good for me to object? No. Now then. Stop this ceremony! <laughs> We're here to save this man from marrying that witch he doesn't want him marry. We seem to have intruders. Ladies, what is he going to be? Insect, statues, or frogs? Very well. The frogs have it. Oh, don't complain. I could have changed you into a moose and squirrel. Okay, so we're frogs. At least Dodie has the tongue for it. Uh, hello. Could we just get on with my marriage, please? Indeed. If anyone objects... I object! I object to this ceremony. My niece is not yet a full-fledged witch. Not? But she has broom and book of spells. Um, oh, I stole them from my aunt. <gasps> Never! She cannot be wed here if she's not a full-fledged witch. Drop a house on her! Quiet! We don't do that anymore. I'm really sorry, aunt. I don't know what came over me. I just thought he was so cute. Well, we'll talk about that, dear. Plus, I want to get your eyes checked. Uh, excuse me, could you do something about, you know, this? Yeah, and could you uh, possibly uh, turn us back into ourselves? Oh, <laughs> I can do better than that. I can put everything back the way it was and wipe your memories so you'll have no recollection of any of this. Simpsons! Make a wish, Liz, and blow out the candles. Here goes. Odie, do you have the feeling that something just, I mean, kind of... Huh? Eh, mm, uh, never mind. 
So, what did you wish for? I wish that just once something really interesting would happen on my birthday. Be careful what you wish for, Liz. Hey, <laughs> we weren't all there to have our memories wiped out. Someone had better have my breakfast lasagna ready if someone knows what's good for someone. I've decided that this is gonna be a great day. Hiya, Garfield! <laughs> well, so much for my great day. Huh? Oh, Garfield, Nermal's going to spend the entire summer with us. Won't that be fun? No. <laughs> <laughs> The whole summer? Yep. Oh. I've been saving this idea up for an emergency. And if Nermal staying all summer isn't an emergency, I don't know what it is. Nermal, what are you doing in here eating oatmeal raisin cookies? Why aren't you out winning the contest? Contest? What contest? The contest to find the most awesomely adorable kitten in the world. Well, hi, that's me. <laughs> Why wasn't I notified? Where is this contest? In the backyard. Quick, you may still have time to walk off with the first prize. Woohoo! Thanks, Garfield. <laughs> I haven't won a trophy in over an hour. Happy, Nermal. I'm sending you for Chinese food. Real, authentic Chinese food. Now, where's that ceiling tape? Hm, must have left it in the house. Stay right where you are, Nermal. Hey, this isn't <laughs> funny, Garfield. Sure, I'll throw the ball for you, boy. Uh, but first, your dog tag keeps coming off your collar. I'll put it back on for now, but I'm going to have to fix that better when I get a moment. Okay, here we go, boy. Putting on a little extra weight, are you, Nermal? And don't forget to send a postcard. <laughs> Not, I repeat, funny, is it, Odie? Ah, just in time for my afternoon nap. Garfield, have you seen Odie? <sighs> well, he's probably chasing his own tail or drinking out of the toilet. Hmm, this is odd. He seems to have disappeared. I threw his ball for him a few minutes ago and he ran right out the back door after it. Hmm. Oh well. I'm sure he'll turn up. Hmm. <laughs> out the back door? <sighs> no wonder that box was so heavy. Stop! There may be someone in that box I don't want shipped to China. Feeling grumpy or feeling sad? Assume this song if you feel bad. Stand up and sing along to the end. Grumpy song. You only have to move around, <laughs> jump and dance. Miss Bella, I should be in Shanghai by noon. Soon, the golden cat shall be yours. <sighs> I should have no trouble finding that box with Normal and Odie in it. Uh, uh, oh, oh. 
I will. <laughs> Odie, Nermo, where are you? <laughs> well, where is here? <laughs> not in here? Not in here? Also not in here. <gasps> but there are cookies. Mm. <laughs> this is not a good place for me to be. Please, power off all electronic devices in preparation for takeoff. No, 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 no. I can't fly somewhere. I don't have a I don't have a seat belt. I don't even have a magazine to read. Garfield? Odie? Anybody? <sighs> oh, last one. Wouldn't you know it? Oh. Huh? I'm happy to see you, too. I'm not happy to see you. You're in a lot of trouble, Garfield. Hey, tell me something I don't already know. So, what, you ship me to Abu Dhabi again? No, Nirmal, I gave that up. Nope, we're on our way to China. Oh, well, that's better. That's China! Garfield? Odie? Anybody? Hey guys, wake up. We've landed. <laughs> Where's Nermal? I know it's not Nermal, but it's probably smarter than he is. Nermal, wake up! What, huh? And people say I like to sleep. Well, here we are, Odie. Welcome to China. Hey! Pets should not be loose in the airport. Come on, Odie. We better grab Nerbal and get out of here. Hey, don't worry. I know this is it. Stop them, somebody! Stop that cat and dog! Excuse me, that cat and dog? Oh, they got away from me. I believe this came off the dog's collar. It's a pet license. Say bullying no way. We need respect. Okay, Sleeping Beauty, rise and shine. I must have grabbed the wrong box. <sighs> Odie, this is a disaster. We're 10,000 miles from home. We don't have any food. John doesn't know where we are. We don't have any food. Did I mention we don't have any food? <laughs> then again, we have lost Nermo. Maybe we could trade this odd statue for some lasagna. <laughs> Boy, I hope they have lasagna in this country, especially since we may be here for the rest of our lives. about time, Voldo. It is, Miss Bella. Freshly stolen from the National Museum. <laughs> the golden cat statue better be in the box or everyone is going to pay dearly. <laughs> oh, this doesn't look like a golden cat to me. Uh, uh, well, uh... It doesn't even look like a real statue. Ouch. Where is my golden cat? Well, I don't have a clue. But who needs a statue when you have the genuine cutest kitten in the whole world? There must have been some kind of mix-up at the airport. I am not a happy Voldo. And do you know what I do when I am not happy? Oh, I hope it doesn't involve singing. I sing! Ah, I was afraid that you would say that. <laughs> Just make it stop. 
I am sure that cat knows something. Siam, Tiam, come here to play with your new friend. <laughs> I have to go out for an hour, Dingbat. Shouldn't you be studying instead of helping me here in the restaurant? I have already done my homework, Uncle Tang, and I know you could do with an extra hand. I don't know what I'd do without you. Well, take care of any hungry mouths who come by. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Please go away. Uncle Tang does not want me to feed stray animals. <laughs> Come on, guys. You are going to get me in trouble if my uncle sees you here. <gasps> Quick, pup. Sad eye routine, number 1685. <laughs> 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 you like Chinese noodles, huh? Did you know pasta was invented in China? Shi, I thought you guys spent the whole day eating rice and practicing kung fu. <laughs> Is that supposed to be kung fu? <laughs> Still hungry, huh? I wish I could take you to this all-you-can-eat dim sum place down the street. Sounds like a plan. But huh? that is all I have. So sorry. <laughs> wow. This looks expensive. Do you want to sell it? Is that the idea? <laughs> there is an antique store two blocks away. Maybe that man there would give you a good price for it. We can't be concerned about normal at a time like this. There's all you can eat dim sum down the street. from the launch of the Concordia Space Shuttle. Ah, news. There must be something more important on, something involving people getting dressed up as large chickens. Huh? <laughs> all right, all right, we'll watch this. Garfield, Odie, I need you to keep an eye on this ferret for me. Ferret? Aren't two mouths enough to feed, especially since one of them is mine? Liz is completely booked up at the vet clinic, so I agreed to watch over one of her patients here for a few days. She'd better not be contagious or too hungry. Depends. What's in it for me? I've just baked an extra large four cheese lasagna to make up for it. It's cooling off in the kitchen. Four cheese lasagna? <laughs> Trust, but verify. Congratulations, you have successfully bribed me into ferret sitting. I sell out so cheap. Oh, I'd better get going. I'll be back before dinner. The two astronauts should be boarding a space shuttle any minute now. Hey, guys, huh? I need to stretch my legs out for a bit. Zip it. We're trying to watch TV here. Just let me out for a bit. I'm a ferret. Ferrets need to exercise or else they go crazy. <laughs> <sighs> All right. All right, but don't mull any furniture. That's my job. Hi, this is John Arbuckle. Please leave me a message at the sound of the beep. Garfield, it's me. I forgot to mention. Don't let Mrs. Ferret out of her cage under any conditions. Liz put her on a strict diet and she'll eat anything. Now he tells us. 
Can you imagine how horrible it would be to be around an animal that will eat anything? Don't say it. The four cheese lasagna. Maybe we can stop her before she eats all four cheeses. You, you ate all the lasagna. What do you have to say for yourself? Yeah, that's what I usually say. Oh well, when John gets home, he'll make us another one, and another one, and another one. Hi, this is John Arbuckle. Please leave me a message at the sound of the beep. Hey guys, bad news. Oh, my car broke down. I'm afraid I have to stay over at a motel for the night. What? Aren't you glad I had time to bake you the lasagna? Just imagine if you had been left alone starving for an entire day. Quick, the refrigerator. Let's see what's in there. You ate everything in the refrigerator, except the ice cube tray and the light bulb. Uh-huh. <laughs> Saving those for dessert. So what are you two uh. going to eat? Oh, I'll find something in John's cookbook here. Roast ferret, ferret stew. Hey, Odie, you in the mood for Chinese food? Here's a recipe for ferret chow mein. Uh, uh -oh. If you will excuse me, I, I have to go lock myself in the cage. There's got to be something edible in this house. <laughs> Canned cat food! John always keeps one can around in case of an emergency. Quick, where's the can opener? <laughs> you want to give it a try? <laughs> Odie, you're too dumb to open this can. Just watch and learn. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I'll just have to use the electric can opener. <laughs> no, you can't try now. <laughs> It'll take more than a stupid piece of metal to stop me from eating the food that's inside this can. for the 1,000th time, I do not need your help. Just open up, you pesky piece of metal. No, you cannot help. Let's run through this one last time. Ready? One, two, three. Bodie, I don't know about you, but I'm getting really, really, really hungry. This is all your fault. Hey, Odie, have you ever noticed how much a ferret looks like a hot dog? What are you looking at me like that for? What is it? Why do you have that mustard and relish look in your eyes? I have to warn you, ferrets taste terrible. We all taste like asparagus. I like asparagus. Did I say asparagus? I meant tofu. Stale, dry. I like to this this launch has been postponed for a few huh? hours huh? because of an huh? incoming storm. But huh? this should pass, and we will launch later this huh? afternoon. Rudy, I think I have a new idea. Once a lightning bolt strikes, it will not only open the can, but it will also heat up the food. That is pure genius. You think you're gonna win, don't you? But you won't. You will never defeat me. Really hate canned food. How about some 
TV to cheer you up. My cat always comes purring whenever he hears me open a can of his favorite delicious cat food. <laughs> Oops, you don't want to watch that. The storm seems to be passing. <laughs> yes, it looks like we should be able to launch the space shuttle in approximately 30 minutes. Come on, I know how to get this can open. <laughs> Told you we didn't have time to go to the restroom. Wait, if we're down here, then who's up there? Good thing we kept those spacesuits. <laughs> okay, Ken. You thought you were indestructible, didn't you? Well, let's see how you'll survive a fall straight down to Earth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! My new hybrid flying saucer! This is wretched space garbage! Hey, go pick on someone else's can of food. By the seven rings of Arcturus, this mysterious object is resisting my disintegrating anti-molecular magma beam! <laughs> 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 Doesn't look too wonderful, Odie. Yeah. Look. That was Harry. Huh? Defeated by a can of cat food. Oh, the shame. Oh, the humiliation. All right, all right. After all that, you want to see if you can open it? Well, be my guest. Meow. Odie, before I say or do something I'm gonna regret, I'm gonna do something drastic. Huh? I'm, I'm gonna end this cartoon. Again? Nope, we're on our way to China. Soon, the golden cat shall be yours. <laughs> oh, this doesn't look like a golden cat to me. You want to sell it? Is that the idea? I cannot believe my eye. Where did you say you found it? I know it sounds crazy, but this cat and this dog gave it to me. I know this nutty opera singer from Europe who would pay well for this statue. 
How about I give you 10,000? 10,000? That sounds like serious dim sum money to me. This statuette is at least a thousand years old. Sorry, but it is not for sale. Sorry we have wasted your time. Wait! Come back! How about 20,000? Come back! 30! <laughs> oh, please! Oh, oh please! I, I don't know anything! <laughs> Hello! Yes, it is I, Bella Bellissima. I know who has your golden cat, but the information will cost you. You shall have your money. Speak! Nope. Haven't seen either Garfield or Odie. They've been gone for 24 hours. That's 18 meals. And Normal's missing, too. Hello? Cats and a dog? You've seen them? Where exactly are you? Shanghai? Where's that? Oh, right, China. I knew that. Well, I'll come there and look around for them. Thanks. I shipped an overnight package from here to China yesterday. Well, that explains it, I guess. I'd better go get my car keys. <laughs> China! Do you know how much dim sum we could have bought with that cash? Enough to feed me for a month, a week. Do you know what my name Ding Bang means in China? Protect the country. This statue is at least a thousand years old. It is a national treasure and belongs in a Chinese museum where my people can enjoy it. Not in the huh? private collection of some greedy foreign art collector. Come on, mm. you can spend the night in my uncle's restaurant. And I am sure I can smuggle you another bowl of new... Hey, let go of me. You heard the pup. Take your paws off him or else... And you're killing too. Gordon a cat! After yearning for it for so many years, it is finally mine! It belongs to the heritage of China. You will not get away with this. Don't be ridiculous. I've been dealing in stolen art objects and artifacts for years. That is how I made my fortune. But why do you have to have this one? Because this one is the key to the treasure of... Uh, uh, ah! Baldo, what is the name that I can never remember again? Fu Tseng Long. Here, let me remind you for the tenth time. According to the ancient Chinese lore, Fu Tseng Long is the guardian of the hidden treasures. The golden cat statue can lead to the underground cave where Fu Tseng Long keeps his most valuable treasure, the biggest diamond of all times. The treasure of Fu Tseng Long is just a legend. My uncle used to tell it to me as a bedtime story. It is real. And when I get my hands on it, I will at last be rich enough to fulfill my greatest project. Voldo the slides. Behold, the Bella Bellissima concert hall with a giant statue of myself and 500,000 seats so that millions of people can come and listen to my unforgettable arias. <coughs> <coughs> They wouldn't let her sing at the Metropolitan Opera. I wouldn't let her sing in a horror movie. Oh. Valdo, put them in the storage room with our other guest. Sam and Tyam, keep an eye on them while I decide what to do with them. Man, my luck is running so bad, the other guests will probably turn out to be normal. Oh. Garfield! Told you. <laughs> Cat, is that cute little kitten a friend of yours? <laughs> friend? We need to stop that crazy woman before she finds the treasure of Fu Tsinglong. The treasure of what? Who's that? I'll explain later. Right now we need to figure out how to get past those two Siamese sentries. Hmm. I have an idea. Okay, guys, huddle. Start. All right, Odie. It starts with you distracting them. Got it? I never cared for ballet. Especially by dogs. Count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> guys are amazing. <laughs> the legend says that the statue will lead one to the treasure. Yes, 
Have you found a map inside it? There's nothing in the statue. No map of any kind. Ah, oh, look again. It has to be there. <laughs> my statue! Give it back! <gasps> the door is locked. I don't want to my statue! Catch! Got it! Normal, oh. make yourself useful. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Give me my statue! <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> oh. <laughs> this way, guys. Follow me. At the window? But we're on the 50th floor! I want my statue! I guess we really don't have a choice. I'm not jumping out of any 50th story window. <laughs> Give me my statue! Over there! Hang on tight! You shoes me very fast! Stop then and giving me back my statue! They are after us! I am a smart cat. Where's that weird smell coming from? Why are you even looking at me? What is that? A dead hedgehog? That is a Dorian. In China, we call it the king of fruits. A lot of people think it smells funny, but they are really good for your skin. With your smart cat, nothing will be fair. Really? Well, what do they do for fur? Good for your skin, huh? I think Bella could do with a beauty mask. <laughs> you missed me. The first one who hits the terrible singer wins. <laughs> Well done, guys. Oh. What are you waiting for? Go after them. What do you want? Just shooting a video. I'm going to put it up on the internet. I bet you millions of people see this. I am the greatest opera star, Bella Bellissima. Listen to the magnificence of my voice. I will come back in the morning and we will figure out what to do with the statue and with the three of you. <laughs> Good dreams, my friends. Oh, oh. Did you see that? The moonlight reflected into the eyes of the statue projects an image. A tiger head? What does that mean? And there is some writing too. First half of the key to the treasure of Fu Long is hidden in the ancient gardens of Suzhou. A treasure map? Oh, that's kind of exciting. <laughs> Suzhou is only 50 kilometers away. First thing in the morning, we need to go find that key. Get a good night's sleep. All I know is there's some place in Shanghai. Shanghai is the largest city in China. It has over 23 million people. Oh, I know. How am I ever going to find two cats and a dog in that- Two cats and a dog involved in a wild chase last night through the streets of Shanghai. This video hit the internet That's them! Just hours ago That's my two cats and a dog! I am the greatest opera star, Bella Bellissima! Oh. Listen to the magnificence of my voice! Those of you who are easily sickened may not want to hear this next part. <laughs> Bella Bellissima? Maybe she knows where I can find Garfield, Odie, and Normal. The gardens of Suzhou were built to celebrate harmony between art, nature, and ideas. That's great. Where's the key to this treasure of who, whatever it is? <gasps> hey. Don't these two cats look familiar? They look just like our statue. There's a gap here. It looks like our statue belongs between them. 
Nothing is happening. She looks that way. <laughs> Doc, you opened a secret compartment. It says this is half of the medallion that serves as the key to the treasures of Futsenglong. <laughs> the other half of the medallion is guarded by the old master of the temple on Mount Kingshan. Mount Kingshan, that is kind of far. Miles and miles away far? <laughs> no, do not worry. We are not going there on that tricycle. We will use something a little faster. <laughs> Thanks for the ride. You're welcome, Cousin Dingbang. <laughs> mysterious creature in this country is known as the Zabadoo. You think there really is a creature like the Zabadoo? I never saw him again. Do you think your friend could still be alive? You gotta go rescue that poor guy. Me? I've arranged for a local guide to drive us there. Her name is Angie. The Zabadoo's mine, you got that? Odie, no! Don't go near it! John, great to see you. I thought for sure I was a goner. But then, the oddest thing happened. The Zabadoo picked me up and carried me off. It carried me to this cabin, the one we're all in right now. It took me in here and bandaged my leg. And then, Whoa. just when I thought things couldn't get any weirder, it spoke to me. I set your broken leg. You're fortunate I used to be a doctor. The Zabadoo used to be a doctor? No, a doctor used to be the Zabadoo. His name was Sam, and he was a retired sergeant. Years ago, he came to this area on vacation. In fact, he was a hunter, but he didn't like that some hunters were hunting where they weren't supposed to. Oh! There's this local legend about a creature called the Zabadoo. I never believed for a minute there was such a creature, but I, I figured it... You figured if you made yourself a costume and dressed up as the Zabadoo... I could scare them off, right? And that's what he did. He made a costume, and any time a hunter ventured where he wasn't supposed to... Ooh! <gasps> Zabadoo. I'm sorry, Mr. Zabadoo. I'll never hunt this area again. I thought it was a great idea. And the animals around here liked it, too. He was such a wonderful man. I stayed around to help him out. When Sam passed away, I took it over. His cabin, his costume, his mission. That's wonderful, Lyman. A great thing you're doing, my friend. <laughs> here, I'll help you out. Blow that thing you call a nose. Good. I'm gonna go out to see if there's any lunch left in Angie's vehicle. Wanna come with me? Didn't come with me. So noble of you, protecting all these endangered animals. You make a great Zabadoo. Here, you didn't see the whole routine. I'm on constant patrol. And when I see a hunter where he shouldn't be... <laughs> boogie, boogie. <laughs> I got it, Buckley. I got photographic proof that the Zabadoo is a big fraud. If you publish that, you'll ruin the guy's whole routine here helping the animals. Yeah, but these pictures will be worth a fortune to that TV show. And besides, who cares about a lot of stupid animals anyway? <laughs> Easy, boy. Hey, Mark, let me off! <laughs> Hey, cat! You can give me back that camera! Nope, I don't think I'll do that. We've got to catch that cat! The photos in that camera are worth a fortune! Get off me, ma! Uh. <laughs> 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 
What is it, boy? They won't get away from us. I'm determined. I'm willing to put your life on the line. You think so, Dick? That vehicle, it belongs to Dirk Dinkum. It looks like Odie wants us to follow him. <laughs> Looks like there's a detour up ahead. The bloke must have gone into that cave. <laughs> We've got him trapped. Got him! Good work, mate. Where's the camera? This is great. Just great. <laughs> oh, this is great. Just great. <sighs> I'll take my camera back, cat. <laughs> Another stupid animal always causing trouble. Another stupid animal always causing trouble. Hmm. You know what I've got a hankering for? Rotisserie Mockingbird. Bye now. I really don't oh. like this guy. <laughs> hey, animals ain't so bad, Dinkle. Shut up, Buckley. Animals are only good for two things, wearing them and eating them. Once I expose this Zabadoo hoax, I may come back here and bag me a couple of those, uh, what you call them? Endangered species. <laughs> and you're not gonna be fooling me with that hokey routine. <laughs> You can take off that ratty costume, fella. No, that's not the guy in the ratty costume. That's the guy in the ratty costume. Hi, Pinkham. How's it going? Well, now we know why he's called the Zabadoo. No, 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 I can't. Wait for me, mate. Thought it was just oh. a legend. And it turns out there's a real Zabadoo. Gee, he's not bad in the role. I don't think they'll be needing this. <laughs> because neither of them will ever tell anyone about what happened here. The Zabadoo? He's out of here. His job's done. I guess he's like Vito the pizza maker. Yeah, he shows up when he's really, really needed. <laughs> John, I can't thank you and Garfield enough. I want to spend the rest of my life helping the animals here, and you made that possible. Plus, you brought Odie back to me. Oh. Huh? Uh, you're... Oh. You're keeping Odie here? Well, of course. Huh? He's my dog. Yes. Yes, he is. John, you can't let... I mean... You... Here, Odie. Say farewell to your friend Garfield. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it, too. But hey, you're back with your buddy Lyman. That's pretty good, huh? I guess we'll see you around, fella. <laughs> oh, if I'm going to get you to your plane in time, let me just say goodbye to Odie. I know you'll miss them. But think of all the great fun you and I are going to have together. <laughs> Thanks for all your help, Angie. I wouldn't have missed it for anything, John. You're a good man. <clears throat> <Huh>? <laughs> Meow. 
and cat. Mm. Mm. Oh. Stay in touch, please. Don't look so unhappy, Garfield. The two of you are going home. Yeah, that's the problem. It's the two of us. I'm going to go upstairs and unpack. Hey, Garfield, how'd it go? Did you find Lyman? Is he all right? Yes, we found Lyman. Yes, he's all right. Oh, that's great. So, so why are you so glum? You look like you lost your best friend. Hey, where's Odie? Odie? I don't know any Odie. When the days are short. Garfield, dinner's ready. It is not time to stay alone and despair. him. Well, I do too, but we have to get over it. This is probably the mailman with all the mail I had them hold while we were gone. Lyman! John, great to see you. You haven't changed a bit, I'm sorry to say. Neither of you. And I'm even sorry than ever about that. What are you doing? You left that? something important in Franistan, and I thought I'd retain it in place, and here. Hody! <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you back. <laughs> Is that? Uh, no. I thought I heard. Ah, uh, never mind. What? Huh? I just have to face reality, Odie. You're gone for good, and I'll never see you again. Is this another fantasy sequence? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I looked at Odie's face, heard him sign, and I thought. He doesn't belong with oh. me. Sure, I used to own him, but now you own him. Garfield has no appetite. Garfield not eating. Oh, that's serious. Well, looks like I've saved two more animals. Speaking of which, I have to get back to Franistan. You can't stay? Wish I could. Tell you what. One of these days, I'll hire a temporary Zabadoo to fill in for me so I can come back for a real visit. I'd like that. I'd like that a lot. So, Garfield and Odie are back together oh. again. You think it's just like it used to be? <laughs> there you go, boy. Go fetch a stick. Oh, oh, that's great, Odie. Here it goes again, boy. Fetch the stick. Fetch the stick. <laughs> no, tomorrow it'll be just like it used to be. Right now, it's even better. Okay, here it comes a big one now. Go fetch the stick. Go, boy. 